Oh, it's time. <laughs> it's time. Let's go. Hello, humans, and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. Let's see what the community's been doing during my vacation. Let's check it out. Whoa, 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 guys. <laughs> it's just games. It's just video games, guys. Let's not take it... <laughs> You guys take this shit too seriously, seriously. But anyway, listen guys, while you guys fight some monk yourselves about, you know, whatever subject you come up with, somebody in the background is sitting with a bunch of money, a pile of money, earning at least 5%, right? What does that mean? Well, first let me tell you that this is for your entertainment only and its conjecture is not financial advice. So with that said, let me get into my opinions here, based on what I've seen of this company. I don't see that all the money that was raised being used for anything tangible, let's say, other than, you know, the physical products there. <laughs> there hasn't been anything really produced, right? Except for salaries for a lot of friends, family members, what have you. And we'll talk about those hookups later as we've talked about them in the past. But what I really want to talk about today is about this fading into the background uh, strategy that a lot of people that fail publicly in certain things do, right? When it comes to Mr. Tommy Tallarico, the Intellivision Amico has been his biggest failure and has been an epic failure as far as publicity, as far as, you know, taking a hit on your reputation, right? That doesn't mean it was a financial failure for him. It might have been for the investors, but not for him in particular. He made money and he keeps making money guys in this company let's say out of the 17 million 15 million dollars that were raised I don't see them spending all of it not even with all those salaries this and that and the other somebody made money right and you know if I had to guess on something like this I would say that there's about three million that are not clear to me where the where they went right around there you know give or take a mil but I think three mil is a good solid number, right? Now, if you had three million dollars, right? And you invested it semi-conservatively, right? Let's say you just put it away, 5% note out there. That's $150,000 a year, right? That's a pretty good salary for not doing shit. <laughs> so you guys are fighting out there over whatever issue you think is important or dreaming that this console is going to come out, somebody sit in the background making well, about $12,500 a month. <laughs> you know, and in this environment, why would you risk that money? You're in the middle of a recession, investment dollars are scarce, so there's not a lot of people out there looking to invest in this type of deal. In software, maybe, but not in hardware. Right, so what do you do? First of all, you spent about $100,000 on a fall guy. Let's call him Phil, right? You pay Phil $100,000 to basically take the publicity hits from now on because you just want to slowly fade into the background. Guys, I told you that I wouldn't talk about anything that I, I couldn't document, right? And the reason I haven't made videos is because there hasn't been anything new, right? There's only so many, so many times you can talk about the same things over and over again. You see it in the videos now. I mean, what are the videos? talking about podcasts and you're talking about you know Tommy being a leprechaun and this guy being a shield and this and that and the other and it's just the same shit over and over again that really doesn't interest me uh, the business pop propositions do and what they're gonna do at this point does interest interest me but what these guys say in particular especially the the people that are left in television that are on the take I wouldn't trust anything they say I wouldn't trust anything that comes out of their mouth, even if they had their tongue notarized stamped. Would not trust it. I only trust things that can be documented. If I see papers out there documented, I will comment on that. So that's what I'm commenting on. To. Commenting on now, which is uh, Tommy taking away the um, Amico away from his bio on Instagram. Little by little, he's walking away from this, right? doesn't mean he's not making any money it doesn't mean he doesn't hold interest in the company because he does own the brand so money can still be made here but as far as 
you know, taking large hit, hits to his reputation, that's probably what he wants to avoid. This is dead in the water unless they get more money. But the money that they've already raised and the money that already taken for themselves at this point is not worth risking. I wouldn't see any businessman in their right mind risking the money that they have now trying to launch this in this environment. It doesn't make sense. Money just got more expensive to borrow, number one. Right? Inflation is going up, meaning that people are going to have less disposable cash. And at best, this could be a third console for somebody, right? So economically, it doesn't make sense. There's fewer investment dollars out there. People who want to invest, don't want to invest into this. Right? You're, you have very few takers. But also, you have the, the thing that this man has been a very prideful man. We can see he has an ego, and this has been the biggest hum public humiliation of his career. And it's well documented on the internet, not only by YouTubers, but you know, on Reddit, for example. You go to the Amico underscore uh, Reddit page, or television uh, Amico underscore page, and you can see everything there. Great source of information, great for entertainment. It really, really is. And what are the things that are coming out now? What can we talk about now? Well, we can talk about the strategies that they had in the company as far as using people, you know, to promote the product. You know, those are documents that are out there now. And if you're one of those persons, right, that did this, how can you feel about that when you know that this is part of the marketing strategy? Well, you know, it's not something that is uncommon on business. Many businesses do this, right? But a lot of people did it just because they were fans of Tommy, some people did it because they were fans of television, whatever it is, it can't feel good to know that you're part of a fundraising process. Now, as I've said in the past, I, I believe that this started as a company that was being flipped to major investors, right? The only problem is that it was run by incompetent people. Unfortunately, the people that paid for the, all this incompetence were Tommy's fans, or Intellivision fans. Let me tell you, true in television fans really don't like Tommy Tallarico for what he did to the brand and for not taking personal responsibility. When there's this animosity towards people that still promote this, that do podcasts and things like that, it amazes me they can't figure out where it comes from. Basically what you have here is taking from the poor and giving to the rich. This money was transferred from people whose hopes and dreams of making, you know, whatever amount of money in the future were taken from those people who had very little to people that already had money, that were making hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? Now, were all of them nice? No, a few stopped by here and gave me some choice words. <laughs> but I have no personal animosity towards any of them because it's just a bad financial decision, right? But you can't sit there and promote this and not have a clue on why you would have any type of blowback. This was a shit show of epic proportions. And this man has taken zero personal responsibility. You're still gonna take the hits forever because this is the internet. And if Tommy Tallarico is gonna be known for, for anything, right, from now on, it's gonna be the Amico and the shit show that this was. But is it really a loss? Not economically. A lot of people want to give him a pass because he's got, you know, mental health issues. That's that's what they're saying, right? He's got a, a lot of personal problems. Guys, professionally, the time for bereavement is over, right? We all have these situations come up in all our families and we still have to show up to work. We still have to meet our commitments. As to this day, this man has not made a statement, an apology of any kind for anything that he's done. New videos every Monday and Sunday. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, click that notification bell, and remember, never ever be afraid to be happy. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.